Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you caught us online today as we're talking about destiny and uh, the different shapes of destiny and in, in, in terms of fighting for your destiny and making sure that you get to where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. Um, obviously, even as we're learning today, a big part of destiny is people. And you know, um, sometimes people say church would be wonderful if it wasn't for the people, you know. Um, sometimes people say life would be great if it wasn't for the people. But you cannot live a life without people and uh, people are supposed to be enjoyed and they are very much a very big part of destiny. Um, so I, I don't know, just a few minutes ago, um, I got a Facebook update about a girl who um, passed on uh, four years ago and uh, you know she was a friend of mine but I can't say we were like deep friends uh, she was more her sister was more my friend but you know she's got this friend of hers who opened a, a tea party something you know like some get together thing um, in memory of her and I was looking at it and this girl has actually consistently posted uh, photos of her friend, uh, memories of her friend. At one point, there's even a photo of her visiting her friend's mom at home and, you know, and it's up country. And, I, and this girl doesn't live here in this country. And, you know, I asked my daughter, who will miss us when we're gone like that? You know, who who miss you when you're gone? Which, do you have the kind of friends who would do that? You know, keep your memory alive um, and keep thinking about you. Majority of people have friends who are there because of what you can do for them and because you of who you are today and, and, and that sort of thing. I remember um, at some point when I moved from being um, a personal assistant to the MD, to being um, to being in HR, part of what I had to deal with was the shocker of how some people became really, really cold until later on I got to understand that they were more interested in me when I was the PA to the MD uh, because of my proximity to the MD and now having moved to HR they were not really interested. I was pretty shocked and I think at that point I began to understand even things like you know transitioning from work, uh, uh, full-time employment um, and a career in a prestigious organization at a very high level management into you know full-time ministry which I guess people don't consider to be prestigious but you know you just realize your relationships change your friendships change and everything and you know um, today I can't help but think about it even as I ask you that question do you have friends who will actually miss you when you're gone? Do you have friends who think about you when you're gone? Do you have friends who will remember you when you're gone? Do you have friends who will say, I am who I am today because of so-and-so, or you did this and that and the other, and they remember you as a result of that, um, you know, but how amazing i mean this girl is not here to see her friend you know logging in uh, visiting her mom uh, her dad died earlier um visiting her you know keeping the page alive writing about her that is true friendship that is true friendship when when you're not there and uh, your friend is still talking about you and remembering you and thinking about you and when you think about it even now where does it begin from finding out that in your absence um, your friend actually defended you you know and these days you know people you learn that something was said in your absence and you can't help but wonder even if the person comes and tells you people are saying you can't help but wonder, so what did you say, you know? And very often when you ask that directly, because me, I'm direct like that, you'll find that person doesn't really tell you, no, what could I say? You know, or, you know, there's nothing I could say. Well, you just know how those people are. You know, your true friends are the friends who defend you when you're not there. Your true friends are the ones who defend you and you're not there. And you are a true friend when you defend your friends when they are not there. So again, you know, when we're making friends, when we're um, uh, having relationships and investing um, in people, one of the things you've got to wonder is who will remember you when you're not there anymore? Who will remember you when you're not there anymore? Very important question to ask. And you'll be very surprised by who, you know? It reminds me of when I joined ministry. I always assumed my family is the one that will support me. I always assumed my friends are the ones that would support me. But God raised people who, some of whom we had never talked before I joined ministry. Or we were just, you know, um, casual friends before I joined ministry. And they're the ones that God has used. Strangers as well. Um, uh, the Lord has raised to come and whatever help does not come from the most expected places. Just the same way that love does not come from the most expected of places. 
Jesus. And may the Lord help us to be able to know. Amen. Uh, Marlene says, glad I got reborn today. Amen, Marlene. Amen. We celebrate with you. It's the best decision that you've ever made in your life. Nobody ever got saved and regretted it. And keep going with the Lord and we'll journey with you. Amen. God bless you so much. I'm so glad that you gave your life to Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. And let's continue to invest in people. Let's continue to give. Let's continue to be a blessing to others. And let's also remember those who've gone to be with the Lord. Um, let's keep their memories alive as well. As Especially if they have children. We want uh, their children to know how wonderful they were, how great they were. When the children pass on when they are young, um, the memories of that person live on in us and we're the ones who tell them what a wonderful person their, their parent was uh, or their sister was or their brother was or their grandmother was or their grandfather was. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching and have a blessed Sunday afternoon. Amen.